Hello guys. Hello guys. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whatever the time is over there. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Tada! If you're just stumbling on my channel for the first time, you're welcome aboard. Please consider smashing the red subscribe button, like the video, comment, and share. God bless you. Real good. And if you're a returning subscriber, you know I love you all. You know I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thanks for keep coming back to watch my video. Okay, today we will be talking about being a dentist in the UK and being a dentist in Canada. That's to all those who study dentistry, to all those who are dental surgeons, to all those dentists, dentists, dentists. Yes. Those dental doctors, dentists, whatever you call them, whatever nomenclature your own country see them as, whatever nomenclature your own country call them, that's what I'm talking about. So if you're a dentist thinking of relocating from your own home country to the UK or thinking of relocating from your own home country to Canada, this video is just for you. Or if you have a dentist as a husband, you have a dentist as a brother, a dentist as a sister relation, loved ones, enemy, you want to inform about this route, please kindly share the video to them and let's keep this book selling. Okay, first and foremost, I keep saying in my previous video, for you to be a dentist relocating to UK or Canada first, you must be a registered, licensed dentist in your home country. That's a certain point. You must be licensed to practice as a dentist in your own home country where you're coming from. Secondly, we we'll take a UK on the other hand. And the one other spicy, juicy reason why you should stay with this video to the end is that I'll be giving you alternative routes to take in the country UK where you is you're finding difficult practicing as a dentist. I'll give you an alternative route which you will take that will be as easy as ABC to stay safe. Firstly, when you move over to the UK, what you'll be targeting is getting registered with the General Dentist Council, that is GDC. You have to write two basic exams. First, you have to write the ORE. You have to write the ORE. You have to write the registration exam to get in. That's the first exam you have to write. Secondly, you have to write the LDC exam. Yes. But just so you know, I never added IELTS because that's a prerequisite to this. So before thinking of schooling in the UK, just get notes. Just know that you have to write the compulsory IELTS, which is the English proficiency test exams. Hope you get me. Yes. Now, that being said, the first exam, which is the ORE, you can write that outside the UK. You can write that outside the UK. You can write that from your own home country. That is for the ORE. But for this second exam, the elders say you have to be in the UK to take these exams. Don't mix up these two things. I never said PLAB exams. PLAB exams is for normal, the normal medical exams. But if you're a dentist, don't bother yourself about PLAB. Those are the exams you have. The ORE is known to be the overseas registration exams. But also note that you have to go through NARIC to state that your first degree, which is in dentistry, was taken in English language. You have to go through NARIC to certify your exam results. Okay? After you write your ORE and the LDC exams, congratulations, voila! You are now qualified to be registered with the General Dentist Council of UK. You register and you're licensed to practice in the UK. It's as simple as that, but the procedures aren't that just simple. 
There's also an avenue for temporary registration. For those who don't know, there's an avenue for temporary registration. Here it goes. Temporary registration is given for a few selected posts on the GDC website. That's the General Dentist Council website. You could go there and apply for the particular position you're coming in for. Then the company will invite you over and definitely give you the certificate of sponsorship. Those who are willing to sponsor you over to the UK, then you can now use that to apply for a temporary registration. That's if you meet their own qualifications. It should be noted that the temporary registration is for just the maximum period of one year. Any work offer you are requesting or coming in for or coming as should not exceed one year. Take note. It should be noted that your employment letter will be signed and used for your temporary registration application. Now, how to be a dentist in Canada for a foreign trained dentist? Like I said earlier, you must first be qualified to practice dentistry, to practice as a dentist in your own home country from where you're coming from. So you must have been licensed in your own country, gone through the rudiments of the university degree practicals, and you're qualified. That qualification will subsequently qualify you to practice also in Canada. You have to be qualified to practice with. That means you have to be registered with the National Dental Examination Board of Canada, NDEBCA. One, a direct processing of your exams and get licensed in the UK. Or two, through the rudiments of dental school in Canada. Start afresh. Go through dental school, be qualified to practice in Canada. Then you can now start practicing. So it's either you go through the route of um, with your certificate coming to be registered in, write your exams, come and register in the dental council of canada or you go through the rudiments of ignore your certificate in, from your own, own home country and come through to dental school in canada go through all the process come out successful as a graduate and be licensed to practice in canada whichever way now whichever way of course you went through university in your own country so you know the route of going through university you have to apply to get into the school, get your admissions, go through your schools, take your uh, coursework, do your practicals, do whichever exams you have to write in your school to qualify, you graduate, you come out, and boom, you are a qualified doctor, dentist in Canada. Or which, then talking about the other route, which is the route I feel you are interested in because no one wants to start afresh, you're interested in going through with your own certificate you have to get your certificate registered they'll have to verify your certificate to be sure it's a dentistry certificate you're coming in with you also have to apply right exams and be licensed to practice in canada it may sound easy but the exams aren't so easy so you have to prepare now down to the uk again remember i told you there's a catch i'll tell you towards the end of this video uh, other options and routes you could take to also practice in Canada and in UK without being licensed to practice as a dentist. I will leave that as a bonus in this video. So stay tuned and keep watching. Now back to the UK. To the UK for the ORE exams, it's, it's usually in two parts. The part one is usually clinical applied dental science, while the part two is clinical dentistry, including law and ethics and health and safety. So you have to remember your physiology, your cardiology, your prostodontics, your periodontics, just it, just the theory and some of your protogy as well. I hope I got that right. <laughs> know the theoretical standpoint and know your anatomy. That's just to refresh your memory. There are several books and apps read, look on the internet and preparatory materials you could use and find handy for your preparations. It should be noted that the ORE part one is 8,000 pounds. 8,000 pounds just for the part one exam of the ORE. Not even the second exam, not even the second part of the exam. For part two is 2,929 pounds for part two exams of the same ORE. So just get your pockets ready 
while going in for those exams. After you pass part one, you have a span, a maximum period of five years for you to be able to pass part two. So take notes. If you don't pass it till a period of five years, one is gone and gone for good. Like I said, the part two is based on clinicals, clinicals, clinicals. The application for part two exams is usually not straightforward. It's a manicure exam. It has, it has the OSCCE, the dental management, the diagnosis and treatment planning. It has the medical emergency as part of the exam. It requires space and the right equipment to work on. I told you it's manic. So there's a little restriction as to the number of people in a venue in a particular, in this particular exam. It's usually around 100 to 20, it's usually around 120 per sitting in the exams. And trust me, there are like over 500 persons wanting to go in and they're just selecting 120 because of all what I mentioned and the space and so on. And it was usually more than uh, that 120 persons in a venue is usually, the exam is usually allowed to be written more than, okay, they have um, up to like five, four to five times it could be written in a year for those who were unable to be chosen among the first 120 persons to write. But it's now, 120 is now twice a year this exam is being taken so if you're not lucky to be chosen for the first set you could be chosen for the second if not you wait till the next day the exam was last written in january 2020 so it has been closed for now so most persons just prefer the eldest s exam because that one is usually straightforward the license in dental surgery exam LDS. The price is same as the ORE and far better to scale through. It's far better to scale through the LDS than the ORE for those who have written. It should be noted that there are trainings available for this exams also. After which you will now get registered with the GDC, the General Dental Council. Now back to the GC part where I said I will be leaving some tips in order to skip if you have been trying to get into the general dental council of canada oh, sorry of uk and you've been struggling to get registered as a licensed dentist in canada and you've not been able to scale through there's an available opportunity for you to go as a dental hygienist now dental hygienists their duties include all dental works excluding surgical works so take notes all dental works excluding surgical works are the duties of a dental hygienist the pay is usually within for some organizations 50 51 to 52 pounds per hour can you beat that nurses in uk are being paid 18 pounds per hour and a dental hygienist is being paid 50 51 to 52 pounds per hour how much will they now be paying the dentists <laughs> the dental surgeon so just picture it so if you're trying to get into the dentist field and you're not getting it just try this other option now being a dental hygienist in the uk this is what is obtainable you will get it onto the website to register putting in uploading your documents it's basically filling of forms in the UK, but the forms are not just so easy to fill. You have to fill with your syllabus. Because once you fill a particular thing, you will state where it is in your syllabus that you were taught. Not you just don't want to know is from my head residual knowledge. Uh -uh. Where is it in your syllabus? In the topic. Okay. You have to fill so many forms. You will take your time, go through them with your syllabus beside you while filling. After filling that, it will take some time they will respond back. It will take some time they will respond to you if your application was successful. If it was successful, then you are now, they will now have to give you a license, which is a license to practice as a dental hygienist in the UK. 
So you're not writing an exam. It will save you the stress of ORE exams. So you see, that saved you the stress of exam. You just have to fill forms, upload your documents, and if they found you that your um, everything is um, real, true, no false statements, and you scale through the forms filling process correctly, you can now move over to the UK to practice as a dental hygienist. Also note, for dental hygienists, companies out there are looking out for them. You can join the Facebook group, you can join Indeed, whichever site, LinkedIn, and you will see companies who are willing to sponsor to offer certificate of sponsorship to any person willing to come in as a dental hygienist. Now, this is what most dentists in Nigeria do. They go back to the UK, find it difficult to be registered in the General Dentist Council. They go back to the UK and work as a dental hygienist. The pay is as good. In fact, it's freaking much more better than the one being paid to dental surgeons in Nigeria. So you'll be doing your scaling and polishing. You know, in Nigeria, the dentists usually don't do that. That's for dental therapists. They do that. So it's usually, it's, um, usually called a dental therapist or the high rank dental hygienist. So just know when you go, you're not be forming, I don't do, I don't do, I don't do scaling and polishing. You're going to be doing scaling and polishing over there. So just get ready for that. You'll be doing all works aside surgical works which the dental surgeon is allowed to do also they will offer certificate of sponsorship for not just you you your spouse and your children below the age of 18. you get me right if you don't get me forget about it now down to canada registering as a dental hygienist in canada I did it well, I did it. Man, you go write the exam. <laughs> That's why I prefer dentists. <laughs> you find it difficult to get into the dentist council over there in UK or Canada. Just pack your teeth gently like your family. Go to UK where you can be paying where you can be paid cold pounds as a dental hygienist by just filling form online. <laughs> and they will sponsor you. Rather than killing yourself going through the route of schooling, masters in Canada, UK, whichever one, just go through as dental hygienist. From there, you can now be trying to get into as a full blown dentist in the UK or whichever country you wish to go to. To be a dental hygienist in Canada, you have to write exams. Number one, you have to. There are basically two exams offered by the board. You apply on your degree, will be looked at. If it's equivalent to the dental hygienist, you also be considered. If your degree as a dentist in Nigeria, your home country where you're coming from, is equivalent to that of the dental hygienist, they will now have to consider you. That is only when you'll be considered to apply for the exam, to take the exam. But if it is not equivalent, if the same, okay, your results is not com commensurate to that of the dental hygienist in Canada, you have to go through their school again. You have to go through your school, you have to um, apply, take admission to get into dental hygienist school. That's usually three years or so, not as much as that of the dentist itself. You have to go through your school, write exams, come out to be a dental hygienist, to be able to practice as a licensed dental hygienist in Canada. You have to write, okay, if it's commensurate to their own over there as dental hygienist with your dentist certificate from your own home country you have to now go write the clinical competency performance based exam that's it and three the registration for the licensing with this there's a you way your two options i would advise you go to uk accept hygienist own and dental hygienist they're managing that one because it is far far higher than a dental surgeon's pay in nigeria or your home country you manage that one, be doing that one while you're writing exams to be taken in as a dentist. You get me? If you don't get me, I can't help you. Scroll through my previous videos. I've made videos about how to relocate to the UK, how to relocate to Canada as a medical doctor, generally coming in in Canada, whichever one. With this, I've come to the end of this video. If you've not subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? I took pains to go through all of this. I know persons who have gone through this route and have succeeded. 
I know doctors who have succeeded, I know dentists who have succeeded, I know those who are still in the process, struggling, sweating, struggling to succeed, and I know those who are thinking of starting, and I know you're one of them. So, just keep watching this video, I'll give you more tips, and if you want me to make a video on anyone I've not made anything you want to ask or want to find out, leave it in the comment section and I'll respond to you via a video, via a response to your comment. Smash the red subscribe button, like the video, comment, and share. Have a blessed day. And don't forget, see, these things might seem difficult to some persons, but your God is bigger than every other. So, try as much as possible to consider the exams. Don't, don't try away. You have the same head that those who are fast. You will succeed. I wish you success on your journey as a dentist in Canada and in UK, whether via the route of a dental hygienist, Whichever way, I wish you success and have a splendid day. Bye-bye.